Welcome guys, here we come today how to enable remote connection over SQL server or we can say how to connect to an SQL server over a network. Here I have two computers, in both of them SQL server is installed. As you can see this is my second computer and I am connected to the local SQL server. Right click on the SQL express and select properties. Under security tab you can see we have to enable SQL Server under Windows Authentication Mode. Now click OK button. This will ask for SQL Server should be restarted. Now right click on the SQL Express and select Restart. Give admin permission. OK. This will restart SQL Server. After restarting SQL Express, go to security and expand it. Add a login. Right click on the login and select new login. Here you have to give a preferred login name. Yeah, I'm giving admin. Okay. Now you have to say it is a SQL Server authentication mode. Give a password. Now select the database to which you want to connect. Here it is test database. Say okay. Yeah. That's all. If you go to the admin and double click on that, you have to set the user mapping. For the test database, you have to say it is a DB owner, DB writer and DB reader. Click OK. That's all. Now go to the database and select your database and expand it. Go to the security. Check whether the user admin is present or not. Here you can see admin is present. Else you have to create a user with name admin and give the corresponding user mappings. As you can see we have already given data reader, data writer and data owner. That's all. Before that you must enable remote connection to your server. For that right click on the server and select properties. Here on the connections enable allow remote connection to the server. Now the second step is to open SQL Server Configuration Manager. Yeah, open SQL Server Configuration Manager, give the permission. Now you have to open SQL Express Instant, this is the instant. Yeah, now enable TCP configuration for this. Click Enable. It needs a SQL Express Restart, click OK. Yeah, after that you have to open one port for this TCP connection. Right click on the TCP. Yeah, now click Properties. Under IP Address tab, Go to the last section, IPR. Now, for the TCP port, note on the TCP dynamic port, for the TCP port, give a preferred port number. I am giving 1433. And make the dynamic port empty. Yeah. Give a TCP port for IPR. Apply. Yeah, it means restart SQL. Click OK. Close it. Now go to the SQL Express and restart it. Yeah. Give permission. Yes. The server should be restarted. Yes. Now the SQL server is restarted. Now the third point that we need to do is we have to configure the firewall for allowing the TCP connection. For that, open Windows firewall. Firewall. Okay. Yeah, it is open. Now. Go to the advanced settings. Yeah. Here you have to create one inbound rule for this TCP connection. Create new rule. Here. In the rule type you have to set it as a port. OK. Now click next. In the protocol and ports select TCP and assign a port. Here I have selected 1433. We have to forward this port on the firewall. OK. Now click next. Now action is allow the connection. Click next. Yeah, for all. Click next. Give a preferred name for this inbound rule. We are allowing SQL TCP connection. Yeah. Click finish. Yes, we are able to create one inbound rule which is named as SQL TCP connection and it is enabled. And if you notice, it is of protocol TCP and allowing port 1433 okay and remote port is allowed
That's all about creating inbound role, configuring on firewall. Now this is my first PC and from here I'm going to connect the second PC SQL Server. Open Margin Studio. Click on connect. Yeah, this is the format. Give the IP of second machine and then comma and then port number. Authentication method should be SQL Server authentication method and give the username and password. Just connect it. Yeah. Now you are able to connect to the second machine SQL Server from the first machine using SQL Server Studio.